We are live. My name is David, and this is a review of this pair of shoes over here, the Mizuno Ekaden. And for comparison purposes, I have, going clockwise, um, a pair of Nike Lunar Spider R's, a pair of Nike Free 3.0 version 4's, and uh, an original first generation New Balance Minimus Trail. Uh, about me, I run a sub 18 5K, uh, around a 36 10K, and around an 81 half marathon. I'm about uh, 5, 5 and a half, and I weigh about 116 pounds, 53 and a, about 53 kilograms. And I put up about 25 to 30 miles a week. Actually, 20 to 30 miles a week. Generally, uh, tempo and, and fartlek and interval training. So, I use this pair of shoes. Uh, by far, the lightest pair of uh, these four for um, fartlek and interval training on the track. In fact, I've only worn these shoes on the track. Um, they are very much minimalist, like these shoes, very, very low to the ground. And you can definitely feel the ground in these shoes. Uh, there's very little cushioning, very little support, and uh, for that reason I only use it on the track. And I don't run, uh, I don't use these shoes for anything longer than 5K. If it's longer than 5K, generally I use uh, these for my races, even up to marathon uh, distances. And we can see over here, uh, the upper, that this by far has the flimsiest upper. We can see a sturdier construction on the Lunar Spider R's and uh, a firmer construction of a Nike Free 3.0. And even here, there is some more uh, support on these uh, New Balance Minimus trails. Uh, we can see the quality also varies a bit as well. Um, the laces aren't protected by these holes. They aren't very secure in that sense. It's a, a very minimalist and plain and flimsy upper. But I guess that's beside the point. Um, the back, the heel area, is actually quite firm, as is the back area. Actually, it's actually a lot firmer than the, um, the Nike uh, Lunar Spiders. Um, it's, this is actually quite flimsy, and this is actually quite firm. So this is um, about as firm, if not firmer, than this over here. And uh, But however, I didn't notice any chafing. I didn't notice any kind of uh, burn spots while running here in these shoes. While I noticed that Originally, I had to work in this area on the Lunar Spiders. So, if we take a look underneath, uh, there's definitely a lot of these plastic grip things here. And, in fact, all over the shoe is lined with uh, this kind of rubber and then some plastic here. By far, uh, the most of uh, these shoes. This has some of that kind of sticky stuff. And this is, of course, all rubber, a flexible rubber. And this is all kind of hard Vibram rubber. And we can see there's actually very little plastic in these shoes. And that's actually what I liked. I don't like Mizuno shoes uh, in general because of the wave. I don't like the wave in the back. I feel it's too stiff and rigid. So this doesn't actually have a wave in the back. It just has a bit of plastic here, which... I think it's okay. Um, that's also the reason why I like the Lunar Spider R's, because it has just a bit of plastic in the back, and these don't have plastic, and these don't have plastic. In general, I'm a minimalist runner. I don't like plastic in my shoes. So I think that's about it for um, this review. These are by far the lightest shoes uh, that I wear, and they have the least amount of cushioning. Uh, the most minimal, I, I believe, and they're good for uh, speed work and track work, uh, shorter distances, 
and um, yeah, I, I think it, oh, it fits true to size as well. So I think this is an eight and a half, and I think all of these are eight and a half. So no need to go uh, up or down a size. And uh, maybe well, I think these are kind of hard to find. These are Japanese racers, but you might be able to find them in the United States. You can find them in Japan and in Hong Kong. And it retails for about oh, how much does it retail? Maybe a hundred U.S. dollars.